As we stand before you today, who would have ever thought that this would be it? Thank you, staff, for making this the easiest year ever. And also, thank you to Maria and Ashari for leading us throughout this hallway. We are honored as a class to be the last one ever to do it. To my class, I pray you achieve every goal that you set and that is filled with bliss. And last but not least, no! Time. Cheryl, to all be united under the Dollarway name. And we thank you, Lord, for the administration and the faculty and the staff that have worked diligently through the years to make sure that the ideals of this great institution were available for generations of students. Finally, Lord, I ask that you bless these proceedings, protect and shield us with your blood, and keep us in your care. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Barbary, Superintendent, Pineville School District, and I would like to first say thank you and congratulations. I'd like to recognize why we are here tonight. We are here tonight for our graduates, and we are so proud for you. I would also like to recognize our guests that we have tonight for our graduations. First, I'd like to say we have our limited authority board that is with us. Thank you so much for being here. Our faculty and staff and any city officials, thank you so much for coming and celebrating this night with us. Thank you parents, thank you family members, and thank you friends for being here for your graduate. But I'd like to make one special recognition tonight, and I'd like to honor those in our audience and on the stage. If you are a Dollaway alumni, please stand. those of you who get to honor yourself by stating that you are a Dalloway High School graduate and I'm so happy for you. Dear graduates, I'd like to speak to you for just a moment. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. I am new and so I don't know you as well as I would like to have, but I'm very much proud to say that I've gotten to know you in the last few months that I've been here. This is a momentous occasion that marks the culmination of years of hard work for you, dedication, and perseverance. You have overcome countless challenges and obstacles to reach this point, and you should admit, be immensely proud of yourselves. Graduation is a time for celebration, reflection, and gratitude, and it is a time to acknowledge people who have supported you throughout your academic journey, including your parents, your teachers, your mentors, your grandparents, your family, and friends. It is also time to look to the future with hope, optimism, and a sense of purpose. As you move forward in the next chapter of your lives, I challenge you to continue to strive for excellence, to continue to pursue your passions and interests with enthusiasm, 
and to make a positive impact on the world. You have the potential and the power to achieve great things, and I have no doubt that you will. Finally, I want to remind you that you will always be a part of our school community. The class of 2023 is the last graduating class from Dalloway High School. Some might say, no offense to the rest of you out there, but some might say we've saved the best for last. You will always have a home here, and we will always be here to support you in whatever journey and however we can. So go forth and make your mark on the world, but never forget where you came from. Congratulations, graduates. We are very proud of you. to be here tonight. It's like a bittersweet feeling. We are on our way to our next chapter in our lives, but we all need to focus on the fact that we are living our lives for ourselves and not for anyone else. We make our own choices in life and we live with them. Learning is a part of life and sometimes we grow apart from our experiences. It is very important that we all follow through with our choices and that we live with the decisions we make. You have to live your life for yourself and no one else can change it. As we continue our life journey, we should remember this moment and look back and think some time things. As a few of my teachers have said to us, Mr. Lyles, I won't lie to y'all. Miss Shorter, don't be into temptation. And Mr. Burton, have a good day and make good decisions. From these quotes from some of our teachers, this should give us insight to not let the world allow us to give up. Because in reality, we are better and can do better. Mainly in this moment, our parents should be very proud of us and how far we have come. They should be proud of us and the people we have come. We are graduating and our lives will change and take turns. Parents, please take a moment to look at us. We are the very class graduating class of DHS. We are the class of 2023. Everything our teachers and parents have told us was to help us get to where we are now. Once we figure where we want to go in our lives, our decision making will become a lot easier. As we get ready to walk across the stage, we don't want to forget our final partners, the Mario Shilton and Bashar Thomas. The last class of Dalloway High School, class of 2023, you're ready to start this new chapter of your lives. To all my future alumni, I will end this by saying, Dalloway High School, class of 2023, this chapter will permanently end, and we love you all. For joining us as we celebrate this very sweet moment. First, I would like to say that this is such a memorable moment, not just because I am graduating, because I'm standing here before you tonight at the last ever Baptist tour for Dalloway High School. <laughs> Never in a million years would I have thought I would be standing here holding this on. I'll cherish it for the rest of my life. Although some people may look down on Dalloway, it will always be my home. <laughs> I wish those coming after me would have been afforded the opportunity to graduate from Dalloway. Entering high school was definitely an adventure that was unfortunately cut short in February 2020 by COVID. I never imagined that school could have got canceled because of the COVID pandemic. That particular time was there for me because for the first time in Bellas though we all got along, only to find out in the end that we won't be seeing each other again for a long time. That's when reality hit me hard and everything got serious. I recall that year one teacher who humbled me real quick. Her name is Phyllis Child. When Child made me work for an agent, at one point I was ready to settle for a city, only to realize that she wouldn't let me. She kept pushing me and I finally earned that act. I mentioned this because Ms. Child helped me realize that settling for average in life was not an option. Since then, I have always pushed myself to be the best in what I do. The past 40 years have presented us with numerous challenges and options. Not only 
have we experienced ups and downs, but we have also faced heartaches and disappointments. I stand here proudly to announce, through it all, we made it. Can we please have a moment of silence for our birth parties, Ashari Thomas and Demario Lawless? Shelter. We are sad that you are no longer here with us, but we take comfort in knowing that you are in heaven watching over us. We celebrate you today. Let, lastly, I want to show our gratitude to one another because we have had each other's back for years, ensuring that we all made it to this point. That's one thing I comfortably say about the class 2023. We were determined to make sure that every single one of us walked across this stage today. Finally, it is my sincere hope that every member of DAG's class 2023 will experience much success in our future endeavors, whether they go straight into the workforce, trade school, college, or whatever path you choose. However, don't just settle for average. Be the best. If you don't take anything else from this speech, remember this quote from the famous Dr. Martin King Jr. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Then fly to your best and be the best version of yourself. However, to the class of 2024, I want you to remember that you are a cardinal and will always be a cardinal. So stand tall and soar high. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Be safe and have a wonderful night. In 1960, Dolores Jean York was the first African American student admitted to Dalloway Elementary School. And in 1965, Sarah Howard Jenkins was the first African American to graduate from Dalloway High School. Now I'm going to share a little bit about my class, and we'll pull all of that together. Well, my class, class of 1986, came to Dalloway High School in the fall of 1983. The student population was approximately 50% Caucasian, 50% African American. And we came there with all of the ideals that we were going to change the world. How long ago? was 1986. It was so long ago that until the class of 1986 arrived at Dalloway High School, Dalloway had never played in a state football championship. How long ago was it? It was so long ago that the Dalloway School had an open campus and we didn't have to wear uniforms. It was so long ago that there was, there was no Facebook, no TikTok, no Snapchat, no Instagram or Twitter. We actually had to talk to one another in order to make each other's acquaintance. How long ago was it? I mean, if you needed to make a phone call after the ball game to get a ride home, you had to go to a bank phone, drop a dime in, and say, Mama, please come get me. How long ago was it? It was so long ago that most, if not all, of my classmates either had or wanted a Michael Jackson jacket. <laughs> now, for those of y'all that don't know what a Michael Jackson jacket is, just ask your folks when you get off. Why am I telling you all this? It was a long time ago, right? Things have changed, haven't they? Yes, they have. But I mentioned that because I want to remind you of this gravity, something that will pull you back to where you once were if you get satisfied with the status quo. All sorts of things caused our way to change, but it did change. And as you leave here as the final graduating class of Dalloway High School and go on with the rest of your life, know that you played a part in the evolution of that chain. Look around and look at your classmates and think about the history of this school. Don't you tell me things won't change. 
Don't you tell me things can't change. But you have to be a change agent. Dollarway is everywhere. I know we, we went to, uh, I think it was two years ago now, we went to a balloon release. Well, it feels like two years ago, but it wasn't quite that long. A, a balloon release when we, we, we all came back together and we released balloons because Do we knew that Dollarway was coming to an end. And for those of us who are die hard Dollarway Cardinals, that's a hard thing to deal with. But we came back and we reminisced and we talked about those things. And the one thing that I know from, from Dollarway students that came from different parts of the country, that Dollarway is everywhere. There are Dollarway teachers, Dollarway doctors and lawyers, Dollarway coaches and mechanics, Dollarway engineers, there are Dollarway community activists, there are Dollarway managers, supervisors, Dollarway is in the NFL, Dollarway is in the NBA and in the MLB. Dollarway is everywhere. There's Dollarway bus drivers. There's Dollarway Uber drivers. There's Dollarway pharmacists. And there are even Dollarway judges. <laughs> Dollarway all day, every day. Changing the world. Now watch this. Don't be fooled. There are still powerful forces that will pull you down. The same type of forces that kept Dollarway from changing in its first 45 years of existence. The 45 years, the way that those things were before, they didn't vanish, they didn't disappear. And don't let the success of previous generations cloud your judgment and your sense in this world. Things are not okay. And you know why? Because you haven't made your imprint on the world yet. But that's okay. Because now you're beginning to go and change the world. Be the hero or the heroine of your own life. Don't be the victim. Because you don't have the same restrictions that we have. You can call mama or daddy from the phone, or you can call the Uber driver. He can come pick you up. You see, you won't be able to blame the teachers. You won't be able to blame the, the superintendent. You won't be able to blame others in the years to come. In class of 2023, I want you to, to understand that, that you won't be able to say that nobody told you because that's what I'm here for tonight. Your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. Your education is just a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead 20 years from now. 20 years from now, you won't have an, an, an easy time making excuses. You won't be able to blame others. You will have no one to blame but yourself. So what are you going to do? How are you going to change the world? What are you going to do? Yes, it's going to be a little bit messy, but embrace the mess. It will be complicated, but rejoice in the complications. It will not be anything like you planned, but surprises are good for you. And don't be frightened. Do not be afraid because you can always change your mind. I know. I've had four careers. I was a professional football player, I was a coach, I was an attorney, and now I'm a children. So you can't change your mind. Whatever you choose, and however many roads you travel, I hope you choose not to be silent. Your story is yet to be told. I hope you will find some way to disturb the atmosphere wherever you go. When you go into a room, they know it's not a way. 
When I walk into the room right now, they say, like, where are you from? I'm from Dalloway. He's like, what, what, what that mean? I'm from Dalloway, that's what that means. Your story is yet to be told. Change the atmosphere. Change what's going on. Change. Change. And most importantly, the class of 2023 for welcoming me with open arms. Now, as I present to you the class of 2023, I hope that you heard the message is that you are the change, and the change starts with you now. I present to you the class of 2023. Are you ready? On behalf of Pine Bluff School District and the state of Arkansas, these graduates have met the requirement to be graduates. At this time, please turn your tassel. Thank you.